Hi everyone, welcome back to Bespoke's newsletter. I'm Dr. Catherine Collage from Bespoke New York City, and this month we're going to be talking about how to deal with tight hips, right? Hips have a lot, a lot, a lot of structures that kind of make them up. We have the actual joint that's comprised of the leg bone and all this, right? We have the labrum, which is the cartilage that holds it all together. We have muscles, we have nerves, we have arteries, veins, all that good stuff, right? So there's a lot of things that can kind of contribute to potential aches and pains and even injuries, right? We wanna make sure that we're addressing anything that might be coming up super, super quickly and not letting any kind of nagging aches and pains progress into something potentially bigger. So one of the biggest culprits of tight hips are the hip flexors. They're the muscles that go directly across the front of your hip, right? They attach all the way up by the pelvis and then go down to the front of the leg. In our world, we do a lot of sitting, whether it's commuting to work, traveling for vacation, sitting on the computer in our desk jobs, right? Hip flexors can get really, really tight because they're always in that short position. To address this issue, what we want to do is things that stretch and strengthen those not only hip flexors, but all the muscles around the joint, right? So we want to look at the glute muscles. We want to look at the side of the hip muscles, right? That move our hip in all different directions. The biggest thing that we can do to help kind of offset that tightening and that shortening that happens when we're sitting is working on things that get us out of that position, right? A couple examples. We want to do stretches like half kneeling stretches where we stretch out those hip flexors. We want to do squats, deadlifts, lunges, all those things where we're going into almost a similar to sitting position and then moving nice and quick and strong out of them. So what we're going to do this month is talk about a whole bunch of options for mobility, for strengthening, and for recovery of the hips. All right, we're going to go through a bunch of things that you can integrate into your own workouts and your own life that are going to help not only improve that feeling of tightness, but potentially even improve your performance in the gym and in all the sports that you do. So join us next week where we're going to be talking about mobility exercises for the hips.